What's up you guys, it's Hosh with Techies here, and today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to import 3D objects into After Effects CS5 or CS4, so stay tuned. So first what you want to do is just do a quick Google search of uh, what you like in 3D models, and I just got to uh, 3dm3.com for the URL, and um, again I just did this with a quick Google search, and let's say I just want to do some weapons, so they have this rail gun. And so now you just click download, and after it's downloaded, then you could just open the, you could just uh, quickly um, just get a brief um, look at the downloads and just make sure like it's the right format. And it would help if it was a 3DS format because um, After Effects really recognizes those. And um, also, if you want to get the best um, outcome, you should look for a 1080p uh, um, 3D. 3D objects because it would work so much more. So now what you want to do is open Photoshop CS5. You want to go to File, Open. Then you want to find out what you just what you just downloaded. And mine was a railgun. You want to just open the 3DS file. Now that and now that you've opened the 3DS file, um, you can see that oh you can see um, all the cool stuff, all the guns and stuff. You know, you could twist it, turn it, whatever you want to do with it, just to make sure it's an actual 3D uh, format. So when you save it, you want to make sure that the format is, uh, just keep it at Photoshop and just make sure you save it um, the right way in the right place and everything. Make sure you click maximum compat. Uh, make sure you click maximum compatibility. Now that you've done that, you can uh, just hide Photoshop, and now you can open After Effects CS5 or CS4. Now that you've done that, you can go to uh, right-click it, do Import, click File. Now go to the file you just uh, saved from Photoshop. So I save minor photos. And make sure the import kind is retain layer sizes. Make sure it's edible layer styles, live Photoshop 3D. Uh, you want to do this because uh, you want to make sure that everything is custom and you want to make sure that you're able to edit everything uh, just fine and dandy. And so now that you can see that um, you have, you actually have the gun in After Effects now. Um, you can edit it into any different type of video that you want. And if you want to see a quick tutorial on editing this uh, this object, um, just leave a comment below, and I will always respond to your comment comments. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and again comment. I right, thank you guys so much, uh, and peace.